So, hi everybody. It's exciting to be here today and uh, more exciting for me to share uh, our experience in a, a very interesting uh, uh, spot, which is uh, the area where mobile, in its race to eat the world, is starting to change the largest industry in the world, which is retail. Retail is a big monster. Uh, probably uh, most of you know it, but retail is the largest is a sector which is worth almost $30 trillion per year. And uh, uh, it's probably one of the last ones to be really changed by the mobile invasion. And uh, in a different way than most of us tend to assume. So e-commerce, Amazon with its $200 billion turnover, only accounts for 0. something percent of these 30 trillions. The real change which is happening here is how mobile with its 80 plus penetration in most markets is changing the way people shop in physical stores. We got here from uh, a much less uh, cool angle because a few years ago, as a company, Shopfully started from uh, a very simple consumer problem. Uh, users couldn't find the information to shop in physical stores in a single place. Simple information the store location, store openings the promotion, the catalogs, they couldn't find it in a single place. At the same time, we discovered, um, in this case, uh, me with the, uh, the, other the other founder of the company, Alessandro, we discovered that uh, retailers were spending as much as 40 billion euro per year in printing and distributing catalogs, more than 50% of their marketing investments. And of course, this method worked because it was massive and uh, geolocalized, but was largely inefficient and not at all measurable. What we came up with was a very simple solution for consumers. We thought we need to aggregate this in a single app and keep the user experience as simple as, as we can, not to create any barrier. We want just to move another mass habit as listening to music or watching movies. And we've been lucky that uh, uh, the operating system didn't do that themselves. The result was an app which, was, which is top 10 shopping up in many countries with more than 30 million users. At the same time, and this came probably a little bit later, we realized that uh, there was a huge opportunity on the business side to really exploit this change to make the largest medium for retailer fully measurable. So we directed uh, a large portion of our uh, uh, R&D and tech investment in creating a platform, Shopfully Analytics, which measures how the physical store promotions impact the drive to store. What we do is measuring how 30 million people uh, are engaged digitally with physical uh, store promotion. Uh, they, and this happens basically in, on three different levels. First, engagement in terms of time spent and interest per product, uh, brands, and uh, kind of promotion. The second level is the, how this um, engagement converts into store visits. And the third level, which is the beta development at the moment, is measuring how these visits convert into additional revenues. And of course, as you can see, is applying in a way the data-driven approach of e-commerce to the physical world, which is much larger. Based on this uh, uh, strategy, in the last five years, we developed a company, uh, which is a mid-sized digital company at the moment, growing very fast. We've raised a little bit more than 20 million uh, from three different VCs. Uh, we've launched a number of countries successfully. And uh, oops. at the same time, we have been able, which is very relevant to convince uh, not just the 30 million users, but also more than 300 retailers starting from Walmart in different countries to use us to generate real store traffic and real additional revenues in physical stores, and to measure and to make something which was their most important medium, the catalogs, a digitally measurable medium, which completely changes, of course, the level of insights you can use to define your strategy and opens to a number, as we will see, of different options for the future. Doing this, we've been able, again, to grow quite fast in the, last, uh, in the last few years. But what we really think is uh, interesting is what lies 
beyond this. So we've created, we've been able, well, we've been lucky to understand that a very simple but must have it reading catalogs, uh, as uncool as it is, was the largest habit in physical retailers, and this gave us an entry point to all the most relevant retailers and uh, lots of consumers. But what is the challenge now? On the consumer side is, uh, even if e-commerce only accounts for less than 10% of uh, retail shopping, the truth is that consumers now want in physical stores the best of the e-commerce experience, which means uh, full transparency, simplicity, frictionless uh, experience. And what we want to do in the, in the next months, in the next releases of our product and platform, is uh, answering to this with two main, uh, uh, in two main directions. One is full transparency for physical brick and mortar stores, which means uh, uh, fulfilling the promise of having not just promotion, opening times, contacts, uh, directions, but all the information which is inside, behind the brick and mortar, available, geolocalized online. The second promise is making shopping in physical store frictionless. And just to give you an example, this involves a number of services that we are integrating uh, in our platform. This is an example, for example, of creating uh, a virtual uh, shopping cart, which starts from your preference when you are planning your shopping and reminds you your favorite product when you enter inside physical stores. Exactly the experience of e-commerce, but applied to the place where you make 90% of your purchases in the real world. On the retail side, we think that, uh, yes, of course, there are a number of verticals like grocery, consumer electronic, uh, uh, do-it-yourself, uh, where uh, catalogs are really used. But we look at the big picture. The big picture is this is the largest industry in the world. 90% of sales uh, happen and will continue to happen uh, in, uh, for a very large majority in physical stores. But users in the last mile between planning and shopping they have a smartphone on their hands. What, are the what do we need to make uh, this even bigger? We need big volumes, and this happens in two ways on our, in our case. Uh, extending from being a large publisher to apply our unique data set to a larger audience, retargeting the audience, and second, providing, uh, moving from a product approach to a platform approach, so providing our technology also for retailers' properties. The third component of our strategy for the future is about the formats. Of course, uh, to adapt to all the verticals, not just the verticals where the catalog is used, and to a world where prices and promotions can change uh, at any time, we are launching new formats which can connect directly to product feeds of the retailers, creating geolocalized promotion based on product availability for different targets uh, in each single location in a country. And the world we see, sorry, is a world where this same platform, which is a nice addition for us, which we've proven in the last year, is very interesting also for manufacturers. Why? Because when you have uh, tens of millions of shoppers in a specific country, you are able to target them in the last mile between planning and shopping. Retailers are mostly focused on uh, price-driven uh, initiatives, while brands are interested in shopper marketing also to communicate new product launches and qualitative initiatives. The world we see is a world uh, where each and every euro which is spent in uh, advertising to direct traffic to physical store, which is the way, again, uh, all the advertising of the largest industry in the world is spent, should, should be able to be measured and should be optimized the same way as it happens for e-commerce only using the creativities and the promotion which drive most traffic and most additional traffic and revenues in the stores. So just to summarize in a couple of words, the promise that we want to fulfill is to be the best way to shop in physical stores for consumers on one end, and on the other to apply the same data-driven approach of e-commerce that we've learned as a very effective one in e-commerce to the much larger world of physical retail. Thank you.